clear prop. Okay, two, two, two. Wingland, friendliest little airfield in the east. East? Yeah, east. Well, that I'm aware of. Uh, impromptu New Year's Day flying. Look at that shoe, I've already come a cropper. Young Daniel Jones is down there. Probably don't like me calling him Young Daniel Jones. He's got a video of it. I've offered him money to delete it. Nothing so far, so... I'm going to need to get my own footage of him, I think. Oh, it's good to be back up again. England is wet. I don't know what you can see. The visibility is pretty crap up here at the moment, but... There is standing water in a lot of these fields over here. And this is an area of England that's supposed to be really good at drainage. All these little tiny canals all over the place. Big pumping stations, pumping the water out to sea all the time. My field is just waterlogged. Uh, most of the fields around my way are. Speaking to a few other pilots. Even the glider club that I flew into that time, video up here. They're on real high ground. But I spoke to them and they were like, it's too boggy for us to glide off of. Just built on clay and not draining. So one failed takeoff. Got a landing to do in front of everybody, but... Oh, just happy to be up. There is some blue sky up there that might come across, but otherwise it is manky. Rusty, rusty pilot. And it's funny how the fear, start getting the fears. <laughs> Trying to remember all those summer evenings where you couldn't wait to get out and you're straight down the field. Get it on the back, get it started. And then now it's like, is this supposed to be it? Is that supposed to be it? Let's get some down footage. So this is Dan Jones, I, mean, I mentioned him before. I think he got into it just after me and he bought an old paramotor from like a dinosaur would have flown. Uh, a Solo 210 I think with a Herf engine, I don't know. But he bought it for no money and then spent a lot of money putting it back together. And then uh, he's bought a Bulldog. But I think he's learned a lot. It's a little bit bumpy up here. Very misty. It's supposed to be clear blue skies, but this is England at the moment. Wet. 
not in a good way. So anyway, I've got no reason to make a vlog here. There's no no agenda, no nothing. I was just getting withdrawal. And these guys have got a dry field. So Wingland Airfield is here on the map. If you're in the area and you don't already know about it, it is a friendly little gang. They have micro lights out of here. Uh, very paramotor friendly. The people who run it are lovely. And apparently they have one or two pretty cool fly-ins a year. Uh, one of which I missed last year but heard loads of good stuff about. Well worth a trip on a flyable day. If you're into if you if you're just getting interested in paramotors then this is a good little gang here to go and meet. Everyone's friendly. Lots of knowledge down there. The last time I came here there was about eight Baileys. Which is always nice to see. like probably 2G. Anyway, Happy New Year everybody. I hope to get back on the videos as we can get back on the fly-in. It's been a horrid three or four months really. Here's young Dennis just setting up. I think it's probably too cold for a bit of an XC although the, um, the seaside is not far away. But it is a bit fresh up here. And the visibility is crap, so just a few buzzies around the field. There goes Dennis. Go on, boy. That's a happy Dennis. That's a Sirocco too, same as mine, but I've never seen those colours before. Attack! Probably nobody watching. Hello, future me here. A couple of weeks ago, Giles Fowler was up at Flylight at Cywell Airport getting some modifications on his PB. A guy called Jamie and Clive from CM Paramotors are up there as well. And anyone who knows Clive will know that if you're in an area with one times Clive and one times aircraft, then aviation generally results. So Jamie took Giles up and I went up with Clive in these little three axis micro lights disguised as actual airplanes. Go!